will not go to heaven. I prophesy that over your life. You will go to heaven. The lovers, two snakes, that's a soul tie. Soul tie, that bust. There's a spirit in there. I bind that spirit in Jesus' name. Step aside and allow whatever um, guide or, or whatever wants to come through to talk to you. The no, no, no Christ energy. The demon, the demons enter, they speak, they talk. She becomes a vessel to the demon. Man, this lady's so nice. I've often walked in rooms and felt that demonic presence or demonic spirit in there. And then um, these spirits that are without bodies, the guides, like where do they come from? It hey, okay, okay, okay. It's getting juicy. And I came up with the most overwhelming peace and love that I've ever felt come without on. having to do anything. He's reading her mail. Woo, come on, Holy Ghost. What Pastor interviews a psychic in her reading room. Must watch, it says. Yeah, you heard that right. This should be an interesting one. This is Richard Lorenzo Jr. And he's come up on my radar in the last few days in my live streams when you guys keep spamming his name in my comments saying bring him on the podcast. So I'll probably do that soon. I have some guests lined up and then maybe I'll reach out to him. But this is my first thing I've seen of him and I really like this video. Let's watch this together. We probably won't watch the entire thing, but I'll skip through some parts. We'll watch the beginning and then we'll watch towards the end because I think he does an amazing job at ministering to, a, to an actual psychic here. But let's watch this. Will not go to heaven. I prophesy that over your life. You will go to heaven. We're in an area where there's obviously a principality operating over the small little region. There's a metaphysical store right there. And there's another spot over there. That's a psychic shop. And there's another tattoo shop that looks like a new age tattoo shop. So. We're in the glory, the, the armor of God is on us. So we have no fear. Come on. I think I'm gonna go in there, led by the Spirit. Use the restroom, and when I go into the restroom, I'm gonna bind devils up, and I'm gonna take authority over it, and then we're gonna have the interview. And they'll never expect that I'm a pastor, or a prophet, or anything like that. They think I'm hey, a thug. He's not playing. He's so going there to warfare. They let me do whatever I want, because they don't know. Because they, they judge by outer appearance. So we're gonna go walk in here. So this is a spiritual stop. It's your destiny to see what's inside, as y'all can see. Look at that. The lovers, two snakes. That's a soul tie. As you guys can see in this spot, you got um, different archangels. It's demonic. They believe that it's perverted. As you can see, the Catholic statues and stuff like that. I love, how just, I love how he's just boldly saying that in the stories, like this is demonic. All from Catholicism. They, per they worship angels. The Bible talks about that. American, American Brujeria, Buddha. Look at all that. As you guys can see, this is all demonic. Look at this. This drug. What all open heck? doors to demons. There's a spirit in there. I bind that spirit in Jesus' name. Tarot card reading spot. That's what they do, tarot cards, you guys can see. Crystals and all types of stuff. Deanna. Hey guys, so we're with Deanna. She's um, she's a reader here. Um, I don't really know too much about the stuff, but she's gonna explain. Okay. So before we begin, I do want to ask, like, what's the interview focused around? We just asked about spiritual stuff, so like, we're just interested, like, and with I think a lot of people now, like, there's spirit. There's a lot of spiritual people, so like, we're just honestly just content content creators. Remember the Bible Outreach Center. He does a really good job at not just being like, oh, I'm a Christian, you're going to hell, but actually just working in there. So and we're doing, what is this called? Like a uh, card reading? Um, so I do read cards, but it would be considered like a psychic or channeling reading. Ch what is channeling? Uh, channeling is just basically kind of clearing space and allowing myself to just become um, a non-judgment based vessel for whatever wants to come through. So I kind of just step aside and allow whatever um, guide or or whatever wants to come through to talk to the person demon. in front of me. It's, it's, it's a demon. The demons enter, they speak, they talk. She becomes a vessel to the demon, and that's how they're telling you future and stuff because they're getting information they're from like, the like um, spirit beings? Um, yeah, so the philosophy would be like all of us at our core are spiritual beings, and so whether we're in a body or outside of the body, our essence at the core is the same. Um, so basically it's just talking to spirits that are, and they're not really like separate on the other side. It's just we're kind of like encased in physical bodies here, so it feels separate. Um, but it, the idea is that we're all physical embodied spirits, and so I'm communicating wow. with non physically embodied spirits. That's crazy. Um, so, how long have you been doing this? About six years. Did you go to a school, or like how does it work? So there are classes that I took that kind of helped me out, but they really just kind of pointed me to skill sets I've always had. Um, so I think at the core of what I what I talk about is that we all have the ability to 
to do this. It's just a matter of just like any other skill, honing the um, honing the ability. So I always like give the reference point of if we like if you walk into a tense room, no one has to tell you that something happened to that room. It just you can feel that something's off. Like the atmosphere. Yes, the atmosphere, the energy in the room is like what just happened. No one has to Not tell a new you age something talk happened. Of energy so what I what stuff. I kind of explain what people in my profession do is we just. Um, through practice attune ourselves to be able to feel that shift in energy and understand what the meaning is um, when it's much more subtle so it doesn't have to be like something just like happened that's super messed up in this room full of people it can be more subtle things but it's just everyone can do it it's just a matter of we train ourselves to when you walk in a room and feel that what she's talking about it's an unclean spirit it's a demonic presence is what you're feeling a demonic spirit i've often walked in rooms and felt that demonic presence or demonic spirit in there um, man, this lady's so nice. I do, my heart breaks for this lady. We need to pray for her. She's so nice, but she's deceived in this new age practice, in this occult practice. But she's such a nice lady. It's much quieter. Wow. Wow, wow, that's interesting. That's like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So, um, six years and you've been, um, like, is it, is it usually, like, accurate, spot on, like, when you do the readings? Um, so I think it's kind of a subjective gauge. Um, accurate, spot on is sometimes it is, like, evidence that you wouldn't know from anything else like you know a grandfather coming through and saying like that they have a certain thing in their car that they think about and touch when you know they're thinking about them and so sometimes it is very specific but other times it's just kind of talking about and i think the benefit is talking about the human experience and acknowledging what's going on in that person's life um, mm -hmm. from a perspective that's really just coming in with a lot of love and encouragement compassion. and compassion for yeah, it. Yeah, as you see, the devil always masquerades as an angel of light, so it all sounds really the good human and dandy. experience has a lot of ups and downs, and it's challenging, but that there's also a lot of purpose um, within okay. that experience. And then um, these spirits that are without bodies, that um, like the ancestral, the, um, the, the guides, like where do they come from? Do you think... Now, he's super smart because he's obviously an on-fire Christian pastor that does deliverance and all of that, but he's using his words so carefully to not let her get on to him that he's, you know, a Christian pastor, but just to see what she's going to say before he ministers to her. And he does minister to her very powerfully towards the end, which we'll skip to that here in a little bit, but he does such a good job at just not coming out and saying, I'm a pastor, this and this, and she just closes down, but he's going in there. There's, um, there's spirits really out in the spirit realm because you believe in a spirit realm, mm -hmm. like an eternal realm that we can't see. So I take an LSD and I've seen it. So like, yeah, so I'm just, I would just call that any reality that transcends third dimensional exactly. reality. Exactly. Like out, yes. out of the physical realm. Non-embodied. Yeah. Yes. Cause we're, we're exactly. We're at a very dense frequency. Exactly. Like in yes. the spirit realm, they move quicker. They, they're, they're, they don't have, they're not encapsulated. They're not. He's asking her these demons. Vessels. He's trying to get her to, to say they have what they, they are. Brain and they, have, and yeah. they're, they like, they move at a different type of rate that we can't even fathom while in these earthly body suits. Yeah. So like, what are they doing there? So, I mean, I think that's one of those things that, so in this profession, I'm very open-minded in that I think every single human being on this planet is doing their best to frame this experience in the way that makes the most sense for them. But I think we're all gonna get to the other side and realize like none of us were spot on. We all did the best we could to kind of try and feel <laughs> out the best thing. But I feel like it's so much not about necessarily being right and more so about does that framework help you feel connected, purposeful, and like you're here, purposeful. you're here as a, Let's move As into some of the ministry to, ministry to die. Here. He barely made it, came back from the coma, wasn't supposed to walk. They talk about near death. I started getting I'll link this whole video. So if you guys like want to watch the whole thing, I don't want to just sit and watch the 25 minutes, but if you guys want to, it's a really good video. I'll link it down below. Make sure you show him some love and sub to his channel. But let me just skip to where he starts ministering to her. Um, so, and I, because it's a unique experience when we don't have judgment from the soul level, it's all just experience. Mm -hmm versus good or bad or better or less. Mm -hmm. um, so I think I struggle with death um, necessarily saying like heaven or hell are real just because those are very polarized yeah, experiences. Like and I think that those are, I think if we're only looking at the like, and what I want, I'm saying like, like opposite ends of the spectrum, like for all we know, and I think it's highly likely, like we know nothing mm -hmm. <laughs> and so that spectrum probably even keeps going past what we might call the energies of heaven and hell into things we can't even fathom but mm -hmm. i also think there's everything in between i've seen videos and stuff like that of demons coming out of people and like hey, okay 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 it's getting juicy he's gonna start talking about deliverance here i i didn't believe it but I, until like i've seen so many of them i was like yo this is kind of real and now that, that's one thing that i was like asking my friend about like the whole father son holy spirit thing like like but then he told me he was like what's really cool about it is like you have a body soul and spirit like you're triune and that's how 
God is he said he's saying God reveals himself by the Father, by the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And like and I was just like, dang, he's like, Yeah, Jesus is like the 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 fullness of God bodily. So he's already ministering to her. He's just doing it undercover here. Shout out to Richard Lorenzo. Doing it undercover here. He's the way God revealed himself in this physical realm in a vessel. Because God even knew that if him coming into this physical realm, he had to be in a vessel, just like even spirits have to enter vessels to, in order to manifest himself in the physical realm. So God, an omnipresent, all-powerful spirit, came and embodied the physical realm as Jesus Christ. Mm. And I started doing a lot of research. I started, I started- This is such a good tactic he's using. I've done this before where you, he's saying like, my friend told me this, right? So her defenses are down because he's not telling her this is what it is. But he's going, yeah, my friend told me, and he's talking about probably when his friend witnessed to him about the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. She's listening because it was his friend that told him, but in reality, it's hitting her. He's telling her this. So it's a good tactic. It's like, you know, secondhand witnessing here. You're telling him what a friend told you, but really he's ministering to her directly. started researching it. like archeological proof because he told me to research. And he's sharing his testimony while he shares. So stuff. good lessons I was like, here. bro, there's some pretty accurate stuff. And like, why does Islam take Jesus Christ? Buddhism mentions him as a conscious. Like, a, like almost every religion or practice kind of mentions Jesus Christ, but you don't see Buddha saying Allah or Muhammad. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't see Muslims saying Buddha, but why is Jesus Christ always mentioned? And it's like, Come it's on. like, it's his, the deity, the power, like the men, like this, like, like even the Catholic religion, I started studying that, her, like how the Roman her. Empire took like Christianity and like manipulated it and like killed Christians and used it to divide and conquer in the name of Jesus. So everyone thinks like, oh, Christians, they killed and conquered. No, it's Catholics. The Roman papacy, the Vatican, I started studying that like, bro, like the Pope was, the first Pope was demonic. He, he, he used, he, he, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, according to what they believe. And I was like, this is crazy. So, like I said, um, I went to all that stuff. I went through voodoo sidekicks. I went to a lot of stuff and, um, so like I, I actually um, had an encounter with the higher power in my in my apartment alone. Mm -hmm. I was actually I was wearing beads. I was a uh, dual inducted warlock. Like uh, I was about to be Haiti, P Puerto Rico, dual inducted warlock. I mean the warlock I was under was like Beyonce and Solange Knowles warlock type of deal. Like real, like in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. I was deep. I was deep altars. All that. My whole house was full of stuff. And I was just asking the higher power, "Who are you?" And I would hear a voice say, "Keep going." Shamanism, got deep into shamanism. I was balancing chakras with pendulum crystals, counterclockwise, clockwise, scattered. I was getting really deep into breath work. I was getting really, re I had different types of sages. Man, I, knew, I, knew I definitely need sage, to have them on. Like the sure, right way. Most people testimony. just burn it and that's it. But there's a way you're supposed to do it. I was deep into it and I had a, an encounter, a legitimate, supernatural, tangible encounter. Like I'm talking about, shoom, bam, not to, it wasn't because of my faith. It was like out of my faith. Like it was like, whoa, because I, I was a big, Non like non-believing person and um i actually by myself no pastor around started manifesting demons and they started coming out i'm talking about spit and vomit like i was there for 20 minutes gone mm -hmm. and i came up with the most overwhelming peace and love that i've ever felt Mom. without having to do anything mm -hmm. anything and i just was like a, it wasn't logic it was a knowing it was like i don't know how to explain it. it's like when you find the the, the 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 land of milk and honey type of deal like i literally was like boom Oh my gosh! And I, it wasn't nobody telling Man, me because I wasn't really listening. I didn't listen to nobody. I had so much money. I was prideful. I had so much. I had cars and properties. I was prideful. I had a woman. I had any woman I wanted. I was prideful. So at this point, I was. It was like nobody was gonna tell me. It was like I knew I encountered the highest power myself, and His name is Jesus Christ. Come on! I actually encountered Jesus Christ, and I believed that in the, in the death, burial, and resurrection, it made sense because, like in the Old Testament, they would sacrifice animals. Right? And they would take the blood to the mercy seat to atone for the sins of Israel. And I always wondered why. It's because blood equals life. Like, you need blood to live. If you don't have blood, you die. Right? So, like, even in Voodoo and Santeria, I, I see it. They would sacrifice animals and take blood, but it was like to a, another spirit. So, like, I'm like, okay, so it's a spiritual law that blood equals life and sin equals death. We know what sin is based off of the laws written on our heart. That's why even a three year old baby knows rape and murder is wrong. If they're seeing someone get raped or murdered in front of them, they're gonna freak out and cry. How do they know that? It's because it's written. It's what we call morals and ethics. But but the book of Romans 1 and 2 talks about it. The law is written in our heart. So like, okay, sin equals death, blood equal, blood equals life, it atones, but they would constantly do it. And they would, it was works. And they were like, we can't do this no more. Like, when's the Messiah coming? Because mm -hmm. the prophets would say, the Messiah, the Christ is coming to save you all. And they'd be like, bro, like, it's taking too long. So they would leave and go back to other gods. But then when Jesus Christ came, and, and his power, because the Holy Ghost came upon him, 
with an anointing and empowerment to where he didn't need to do anything but just say, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Man, Come out really in the name of listening. Jesus Christ. And, and there was miracles. I'm talking about countless, countless. And he said, all you have to do is believe in me and put your faith in me, open up your heart to the, the potential of me being God and give yourself to me and you'll see what happens. And that's when you receive the Holy Spirit. So like he, and he said, I have to go up on the cross. I have to die. I have to fulfill all the Old Testament prophecies at 100% accuracy. And I have to go and, and atone for all your sins through my blood, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. The last and final sacrifice. He literally He's sacrificed the gospel. All, like, as a human, Come on. sinless and perfect unto death. And it's proven that he was here scientifically and archaeologically. Like, it's not like it's a, like, well, maybe, no, it's in the, the Dead Sea Scrolls, the textual authenticity of the Bible. It's crazy. Like, I started searching all this stuff. And when he resurrected, he proved that he was God. He showed him, look, I'm back. Since all of you, everyone doubted, even his own disciples that saw him walk on water and turn water into wine because they didn't have the Holy Spirit. They couldn't understand it in the flesh. So you have a spirit, right? So when the Holy Spirit fills you, your spirit is made perfect and whole. Mom. It's like you get activated with a superpower. Mm. That's what happened. I got, and I, and I just knew. And what if I told you also that pastor that I was talking about, casting out demons and healing the sick, was me? Mm. What if I told you that God is calling you as a prophetess? What if I told you that I, the Lord he told me about in. your father before I even came in here? And he wants to build that relationship back. Is your father Christian? Yes. Is he a pastor? He's, he's reading her mail. She thought he was, she was going to read his mail. He's like, not today. And he's reading her mail and ministering to her. Woo, come on, Holy no. Ghost. What does he do? I don't know now. He loves you so much. Oh, that relationship's that, oh, exactly much. what he said. I'm going to be really honest. Yes. Um, you're kind of crossing a boundary into my own my own personal stuff with my father. Okay, I I'll boundaries stay boundaries there for okay. my own. And I'm, I want to say those boundaries were made out of nothing but love. Be so and nice. wanting to honor his heart as much as I'm honoring my own. Okay. And those were made from a very loving place. And I'm perfectly fine. I love him better from where I am. From where you're at. Than, okay. than we ever could in person. Okay. No and more. to me, that honors his him. That okay? honor is important. Um, Can I do one thing before we leave? And I'll pay you cash out? Yeah. Could I? I and I, I want to say, like, I, I'm totally... Like, I'm not trying to cut you off. That was just a, a boundary of, like, I'm very... Of course. I'm very He's so sure nice. Being aligned with... This might be the nicest psychic in America. Of course. I, oh, yeah. I don't I don't judge nobody. Yeah, I do I do work with Christ energy all the time. I think we really? just work through it through a different framework. No! 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 No Christ energy. That's new age. That's demonic. No. Can, yeah. I, do, can I do one thing? And I, don't, and I mean, if this is what all I want to do is just, like, say a quick prayer for you like of love sure. yeah. you cool with that yeah. he did such a good job i have to give it to him for sharing the gospel sneaking in there telling talking about near-death experiences which you guys can watch the full video i didn't watch that part and then sharing his testimony and then bringing the gospel all just undercover man he's like an undercover secret agent for the holy ghost i love that i love that he did it so well and then he's like can I pray for you? And then gives her a word of knowledge. She's just like, oh, no, this is too much. And he's like, let me pray for okay. you. Beautiful. Okay. Um, I don't touch okay. just because I I'm not big on the energy exchange. But yeah, okay. absolutely. So I just, I'm going to pray love. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just pray blessings over my sister. I pray that you you show her more because she wants to know more and more. She said she said she wants to know more and more. We don't, and this, what she said was a biblical, that we don't know anything, that you know all things. Paul said, I don't know nothing but Christ Come crucified. On, I pray that you bring her to a place of revelation of you, Lord, like you did with me. And that if there's anything in her life, Lord, that she's that any bad negative energy, any dem anything demonic, that you just take it away, Lord, and that you reveal yourself to her, Lord. We just take authority over any demonic spirit that might be operating around her. We just take authority that they cannot speak no more, be around her no more. In Jesus' name, Lord, thank you for this loving, loving soul. In Jesus' name, Amen. Mm, thank you. She might have just lost her psychic abilities right You're there. You're very loving. So I want to share with you. I grew up. Christian like and the, like I, yes Raising that was church. my that was and also want to share like military is also my background so I what? I Navy? Air Force Air Force what? Yes. What, where were you stationed uh Texas New Mexico uh Hawaii and California oh, oh. you were raised Christian yes I was Baptist or something like that um non -denom. okay and yeah. did, you, did you receive power in your church like like the holy like power of oh my god I can't tell you how many youth groups I went to where I would just feel it come over me and I would bawl my eyes out 
Have you ever seen wow. a healing or deliverance? Have you ever seen a demon cast it out or someone get healed by the power of God, get out of a wheelchair? I mean, I've seen it on, on TV. And again, I believe in that stuff. Like, I, I want to say, like, there's, there, I just it's want you to so know there's no... so real. I know. But you know what I believe? Like, I, I believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. I believe he loves you so much, and I believe he is the fullness of God bodily. I believe he is going to encounter on. you. We will see each other in heaven. You will not go to hell, and I prophesy that over your life. You will go to heaven. God will reveal himself to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're Wow, that was a good video. Pastor interviews a psychic in her reading room. What a great job Richard Lorenzo Jr. did. I'm for sure going to reach out to him after I have a few guests that I've lined up. At, have him come on the podcast or invite him on. I'm not trying to be arrogant here. I'm going to have him on. I'm going to invite him on and then have him share some of this. Man, awesome, powerful ministry. Again, you guys are spamming him in my chat. I checked him out. I saw this video and I was like, this would be a good video to react to. Make sure you go check out his original video. Show him some love. Go leave him a comment and say, came from Isaiah's. Uh, stream or channel just to show him some love here because again we're using his content to react to and he did such a good job like I give him a 10 out of 10 for sharing the gospel there going in there undercover and what a nice lady raising the church and we pray that God would bring her back let me know what you guys think about this video down below in the comments we are live every Monday Tuesday and Friday we'll see you guys in the next video God bless